my app, I have a number of different users and roles. Different roles can have different levels of access and behavior of the application components. This application is using a custom membership. If a user reports that a certain feature isn't working, or I want to make it easy to test a new feature, I may want to log in with a specific user account to reproduce that behavior. This can be hard to do if I don't know the user's password. A common solution for this problem is to offer the ability for administrators to impersonate a user. Let's go ahead and implement a user impersonate feature in my app created with Code on Time. First, we'll want to enable shared business rules and use the controller virtualization and the controller action attribute to implement the feature. Select the project name, press settings, and select data model in business logic. Switch to the shared business rules tab and enable shared business rules. Next, we'll want to regenerate the project to create the required files. Once generation is complete, let's open the project in Visual Studio by clicking on the project name and pressing Develop. Under the App Code, Custom, Rules folder, Open the Shared Business Rules file. Let's override a method on the Shared Business Rules class called Virtualize Controller. This method is called every time a controller is used as part of a request. We can make changes to the controller to alter the behavior and functionality of said controller programmatically. If the current controller being virtualized is the user's controller, and the current user is an administrator, then we'll go ahead and modify the controller. We will select the action group AG1, and we'll create an action in that group. With the command name custom and command argument impersonate. We'll want to set the header text to impersonate and we'll add an icon called group add from the material icon library. Next, we'll want to add a function that handles the press of this button. This function will be linked to the action of the controller customers using the controller action attribute added to the method. Make sure to add the parameters specifying the controller users the command name custom, and the command argument impersonate. When the current action matches what's specified on our controller action attribute, the method will be executed. We'll want to go ahead and pick up the currently selected username value. If the value is not null or empty, and the value is not equal to the administrator, and that the current user is in the role administrators. Then we'll go ahead and handle the impersonation. First, we'll want to generate a password that's encrypted using the key of the application.
We can use date time now as a unique value. You can use other values and perform validation on the other side as well. Next, we'll want to pass back a little snippet of JavaScript that will trigger the login function on the client browser and pass that encrypted password. The call to $app.login will pass the user name to impersonate, the string impersonate colon, followed by the encrypted password. Once the login procedure is complete, the follow-up function will go ahead and navigate to the return URL or the root URL of your application. One more step. We'll also want to override the supports virtualization function to ensure that the user's controller is virtualized. If the controller name is equal to users, we'll return true. Now we have a button that will be rendered on the user's controller and code that executes that button. However, we'll need to go ahead and implement processing of the impersonation command on the login process. We'll want to override a method on the application services class. In the same folder, let's create a new file. called application services. This file will have the namespace of your namespace dot services. And we'll add a partial implementation of the application services class here. Let's override the user login function. This method is the method that is called whenever a user tries to log in. We'll want to add a bit of code that checks to see if we're trying to impersonate a user and if we have the right permissions. First, we'll check to see if there is a current user logged in and they have the role administrators. and that the username and password are not null or empty. And that the password starts with the string impersonate colon. If all these conditions apply, we'll want to validate the encrypted part of the password return true if it does, or false if any exceptions occur. Let's go ahead and see our code in action. First, let's log in as an administrative user. If we jump to the users page, if we select the three dot menu next to a user, 
We'll notice that impersonate action is available. If we select it, we will now be logged in as the user that we tried to impersonate. We can always switch back to the administrative account using the account switcher.